Hey guys, this is the five things that I love about my Shelby Daytona. As you can see, one thing I hate is getting out and out of it pretty tight. But it looks pretty damn good. And that is number one thing that I love about this car. You pull up, looks like a 1965, but it's all 2020 underneath. It looks amazing. Just repainted the hood, redid the decals on it. Nice wheels, big ones in the back. 335s, 275s in the front. But really, the number one thing is just the looks. You park this at any car show, for the money, this is getting more attention than anything else. Under a hundred grand, I guarantee you. Details were spared. It's kind of dirty right now because I drive it all the time. Got subs here. Look at that embroidered Daytona Factory 5. Put that mirror in. The interior is as bare bones as you would want it. Where it's still kind of like a race car. We got air conditioning heat power steering heated seats and that's the number two thing i love about this car is the the creature comforts are just out of this world for a kit car it's just it's insane we got leather seats i had a little bit of padding for a little bit more comfort a little bit more height in the seat so i can see over the dash we got door poppers we got stereo with uh, subs and amps and everything components uh, got even even a sliding seat and driver's side welded up these headrests a lot of really nice little touches as far as ergonomics goes Super comfortable, especially with the independent rear suspension that's number three that I like this is a pricey option five thousand dollars if you want the independent rear suspension with the upgraded sway bars, Coney Sing adjustable. Just the whole suspension itself. We got big uh, four piston Willwood brakes in the rear. Massive six piston Willwood brakes in the front. This thing will stop. Drilled and slotted. Eh, you know I could take it or leave it, but it looks it does look cool. But um, good tires and everything. So number three thing I love about this car is definitely the suspension. We got double wishbone in the front, same in the rear, uh, with a brand new Mustang, independent rear suspension, limited slip diff. This is, I mean, the suspension is so sophisticated. It's a perfect blend of comfort and performance. Next thing, of course, is that big old Coyote engine. Not super big. But it makes a good amount of power for a 5-liter. 535 or 435 horsepower. Gen 2 Coyote. Everything's completely stock. Uh, it was is a brand new engine. And everything on this car is brand new. And that's another thing I love about it. But especially that engine. It sounds great. We've got side pipes here. And they come from Factory 5 baffled and everything. These are completely custom welded up pipes just for this car got nice headers and everything and it gives you just enough performance for a car weighing 2600 2700 pounds you got just enough performance it, uh, it's not too fast but you got enough power it's, it's not the fastest thing in the, on the road no but this will get more attention and will outperform most cars out on the road you got all little things aluminum radiator with a uh, 1600 uh, cubic CFM fan nice uh, you know aluminum uh, accents or uh, ducting here and everything everything's real shiny looks like it should doing a little bit of uh, adjusting here so, so I have the uh, engine cover on uh, but uh, yeah the performance is great suspension's great engine's great what could be the fifth thing that I love about this car Everybody knows me, 
the fifth thing that I love about this car, and probably could be number one, is the value for the money. You could build one of these with all the donor parts, and it, you know, if you if you don't get you know top notch stuff, and if you use all donor parts, for the most part, you can get a kit for around forty, forty five thousand. With, with everything you need, minus the engine, transmission, and rear end. It'll cost you about 70000 to build one, but you could definitely, like this one, you can go into the six figures. But it's a low six figures, and you think about what you're getting for the price. <clears throat> Especially, like I said, with this one, you could build it, put however much, go as crazy as you want, you put as much detail, or you can make it a bare bones race car for sixty thousand, and and have a roll cage, curvy seats, five point harness, and and top of the line suspension that's going to outperform. I mean, it'll it should keep up with uh, not the C eight Corvettes, but definitely the C seven Corvette. Uh, you know, a thousand pounds lighter. But. I just really think you're getting a lot of value for the money. And obviously, you're putting your work into it. But it's a labor of love. You know, and I got this secondhand. And I really think you could get a better deal if you buy it secondhand. And I just didn't have the time to build it or the place. But look at all, all, what you're getting, man. Everything's brand new. It's basically a brand new car. Yes, there's going to be bugs you'll have to work out no matter which one you get. Mine doesn't have windshield wipers. Not a big deal to me. But I mean, you're getting all top of the line parts. And like I said, you could go as mild or as wild. There's people driving these that aren't painted on the racetrack. But you got, like I said, roll cage. You can strip this down 2,200 pounds and, and be extremely competitive on the racetrack. Just have fun and not worry about it. Or you can have it like this. Be the best of both worlds. You can take this to a track. But you take this to a car show, and I'm telling you, the only car in town, I'm not bragging, but the only car in town that gets more uh, attention than this is the Koenig set, Wyra, that's in town here. But everybody loves this, everybody knows me, and I just think this is the best car 